just tell me what someone was working in. That's all I ask you guys uh, working from the road that goes up by the house. Some of them in the backyard working. Duck into the front front door uh, in the house so the landscapers are outside. Then one of the guys came to my house to get the bathroom. I freak I I freak out with that one. They catch me in the air burns. Mm -hmm. The well, as best I could in the one closet in the middle room. I just sat in the bathroom and I can tell it's not going right outside. I'm just sitting there holding my breath. No one sees it coming. Uh, eventually, I hear the two uh, you guys talking outside. I didn't want to run down that driveway because I, I didn't want them to see me. I jumped into the garage. I was sitting there, mm -hmm. hearing it. Yeah. I don't let it become him. So I put on a jacket that was sitting on the back of the seat. Um, I put a baseball cap down low my head. His garage, I started up the car, his garage door opener, I back up, and I door shut down real quick, and I drive out to the driveway. Um, I came home. Went to bed. Next morning, it was Friday. Uh, told Elliot to meet me at the house instead of the job site that I had to load up a bunch of materials. Mm -hmm. um, we loaded up the yellow trailer in my backyard. We went to work. And in the evening, I got a call from your, your partner, and he was. Uh, he freaked me out so bad and told me he was killed. I was tripping because I knew my friends were all over that place. And told my wife what was going on. And I said, I'm glad I was home. And she was in my dream room and her dream room was around. She, she was she was trying to fight with me a little bit about the fact that I would do something so fucking stupid to steal from someone I was going to work for. And then truck in the car. And slowly from Queen Fair to Thomasburg. Went home, got the car. And I drove around town. I did the while I was home. And I went to the house and Been waiting. Did you ask somebody to burn the car? No, no, no. I, did you burn the car yourself? No, I did not. Where the car was burned is a business complex with surveillance videos all around it. Did you know that? In fact, there's a sign right above where it was that says this area under video surveillance. So, again, yes, it is. if there's things that you, yeah, <laughs> we're not here for just some random reason, right? I've freaked out. That's understandable. I've never been anywhere near a murder. I mean, part of the uh, homicide, I freaked out. Can I, can I correct your timeline a little bit? I know when the car was burned, and I know when my partner called you. Which border do you think that happened in? Well, I burned the car after. Yeah, you burned the car. Well, you take the 
You had 15 hours there, what was that? Oh, I saw the news hard. I, the news, Cairo 7 News, 4.30 in the morning. There she was right away sitting there, right out the fucking screen. Yeah. And they're saying, right, man, uh, killed. And I go wake up my wife. I said, and I'm tripping. Isn't that about the same time you cloned the card? Or tried to use the cloned card? Yeah. Because I know the timeline. And, yeah. And I'm not, you know, I'm fucked. Well, if I don't, I'm going to get it, I'm going to do it. Might be punished one way or the other here, huh? Did you use uh, gas, cooking oil, or something else to burn the car? Uh, it was gas when it was in the vehicle. Okay, so it was already in that vehicle, is that correct? Yes. Was it gasoline or some other product? No, gasoline. Okay. Was it a plastic container or a metal container or something plastic. else? They just filled it with red plastic gas can. Okay. Where did you burn the car? Let's make sure we're talking about the same sheet of music here. Uh, over. Burn a car. So you off, my head's off let me see right now. Well, I mean, if you got back on the meth, uh, we all understand that. If that has an element to this, that's, that's an element to this. What? The drugs, everybody understands. Yeah, we know this. If you're back on the meth, but it's still in you. Hold on, this. Let me explain it because you're actually did. You know, I didn't. Oh, I'm going to tell you this right now. I did not hurt that man. I actually liked that man. He seemed likable. Well, let's talk about the car, then let's go, we'll go back and we'll how far we need. Where did the car get burned? Where? The city of Seattle, Lakewood, Olympia, Kent, where, just let's, let's narrow things from the big picture. I think. Because my next question, my next question is how the fuck did you get home? Well, let's ask this. Did you have to go specifically to a gas station and buy gasoline, or are you saying the gas was already there? I don't. I don't have a gas can. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I have a gas can. Not missing any. Okay, so what city was the car burned in? Like, Brown County? Like, what's the home? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Like, what's the name of the home? Well, why that particular location? I don't know. Panic? Yeah, I guess. Well, where'd you go when you left the burning car? To the bus stop. Did you take a bus home or somewhere else? Home. Did you get an Uber or a Lyft? Uh, yeah. No, I have a little setup on my phone. Okay. So good old Pierce Transit. Is that how you got home? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So you took six and nine hours to get it. Yeah. Then you get home again. Uh, I, I don't want to be running down the wrong path here. I'm going to draw a big fat square here. And what I will say is this is a main road. 
there's a big ass building on this property. So the biggest square is a property. The smallest square is a building. This is an entrance to the parking lot. This is an exit to the parking lot or vice versa, entrance, exit, I don't know which. Where on this property, do you recognize this? Where was the car burned on, the, on this property? You know, was it here, here, or somewhere else? Or not this at all? That's uh, all the way from the entrance exit, possibly. Okay, and which way did you leave on foot? Did you head out that way? That way, did you climb a fence or something else? No, I jumped right out here. And then shared across the street because we're at a bus stop. Well, what else was over there? It was a retail shed? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so the car was along this edge somewhere? Yeah, I think so. Do you zip to back out onto the main road? Do you know if you ran straight this way, or did you run this way, or something else? No, I just ran. I wanted to get on there so the could just pass to the exit. Are you saying you went out this way and sat, sat at a bus stop? No, I, went, I ran over there and I looked at the bus stop to see how when the bus was coming. And then what did you do? Went straight down the road to the next bus stop, and then I sat. I was out of breath. Did you hide? Or did you? No, um, I just, I was jumpy, then fire engine came out. Do you know anybody in this area? Do you have a friend, a buddy? No. Dope dealer? Dope no. user? No. In this area? No. Have you been there before for some time? I don't think so. It just, I don't know. I don't know why I went there. I got to do a little recapping here. We've asked you several times, well, we've asked you if you are the person who committed this murder or a witness to the murder or something else. Witness. I can have witness. You've talked about an attorney, but then you said you want to continue talking because you didn't do anything. You said I'm a witness, not the suspect. Well, I'm trying to figure out what you are. I want to talk to you as whatever you are, but we've continued talking after that. You're talking about the the car being burned, all these things point to, let's do the logical thing here. The guy that burned the car is the guy that stole the coins. The guy that stole the coins is the guy that was inside the house. The guy that was inside the house is the guy that killed him. No, it's not me. Then what's the logic? You tell me the logic. What, what's the sign? I'm scared as shit, and I'm just trying to get every, every single amount of good time to that. Okay, but maybe any of his property. Okay, I, I missed the point of when did you get his car? Was that Wednesday, Thursday? You said the last game was over there, right? Yeah. So, how long did you have the car? So you got it in the morning, and then by the next morning, was it burned? I, I, yeah. So you got Thursday morning, which makes sense because that's when we know your phone was there. Um, and then uh, I went there to get my phone early. Okay. That's when I found the front door open. He was nowhere to my house. That's also about the time. Yeah. You know, do you know? Six, five, six o'clock in the morning. The few hour window. He wasn't there. Why did you dig a hole in this property? Because again, this is where you made some mistakes. Fingerprints inside, fingerprints on uh, digging implements, tools, shovel, pickaxe. I didn't dig a hole. Uh, so tell us about the whole thing, because you were there when what, the hole was being dug. What hole? The hole. There was no hole dug. I did not dig any hole, and there was no hole dug anywhere. On the time that you walked around the house with him, did you see a hole in the backyard? No. Okay, that's what we're getting at. So, why did you dig the hole? I didn't did dig, dig a hole. Well, then who did? Because the no hole was dug while you were there, cell phone, right? While you were getting his stuff, and 
uh, just before the car was moved from the property. Where was this hole? On the back side of the house in general. So where the landscapers were working. Well, what were they doing? What do you think the landscape? They were, it sounded like it was laying in stone. Did they have a stone cracker? Oh, you know what a stone cracker is. Yeah, they did. They had one rolling? That fucker's loud. Uh, when I first got there, it was. That's, a, that's why I needed my hair in the house. Okay, but why would your fingerprints be on these tools that were being used to dig this hole? I guess that's, I, mean, I know you were inside the house. I know you would get your prints in some odd locations inside, but we also have long tools. From the garage? I mean, I've been in every, I was in every single building in that place. But were you manipulating tools? What do you mean? Were you using, like, a, were you using tools? Were you using shovels in a way a guy would use a shovel? Were you using a pickaxe? No, I wasn't. Well, then why are your fingerprints on? Not from using. From, from what now? I mean, we got to explain these things one way or the other, right? I don't, I don't, maybe I've touched them, and I don't know. So you were every single building on the property. What other buildings are there? Uh, there's that little, like, car shack thing. Okay. Uh, when did you go over there? I was sitting there with him. Okay. He, he, when we walked around, he was showing me the things he wanted to get rid of. Was there anything in the thing that you wanted to get rid of? Oh yeah, there's it was like it was like uh, three three strip of wiring. That's all it was was copper wiring. He said that one of the uh, one of the people that he used to stay on the property left this mess for him. Okay, what else about that shit? Were you on the front yard with Steve? Huh? Were you on the front yard with Steve? Not really. I mean, we walked uh, from the front of the house. We went did the walk around. But, uh, when we picked, we were looking for stuff to get rid of. I don't know. Picture the front yard area. A little bit. Porch. Yeah. Did you have a hose? Hose? Did you use the hose for anything? Yeah. What did you use the hose for? Put one in my truck. Listen, we know why you use the hose. Yeah, yeah, that makes no sense. We, we, we understand why you use the hose. You just go down a hole. Yeah, apply your blood. You didn't find it. Yeah. No, they, I keep going back to it, but we know you were there when he was killed. Either you're the guy that killed him or you watched the whole thing go down and helped him. Try to get I didn't body. help anybody. One of those two. There's no other option. I didn't see anything when I got there. He wasn't there. He wasn't around. And I wanted to get out of there as quick as possible. Right, right. Um, well, so how much time you spent there? Yeah. It yeah. wasn't just a couple minutes. No, I was there for a couple of hours. What were you spraying with those? Picture closer as a picture here. Yeah. Create a picture in your mind. And tell me what you were doing. I sprayed on the front porch, uh, the front porch, uh, from where I was doing some out rockets. And what else was around the area? What were you spraying on? Picture it. I was spraying your head. Um. What do you? I wash my hands. It's sad, man. We don't think it was on purpose, but it happened. You know, freaked out. We get it. 
Okay, go ahead with Gunter. You pepper spray him. What? Pepper spray him. No, I don't do any pepper spray. Tell me. What, did he do something to make you feel threatened? No. Me and when me and Ryan each other we laughed and we joked. I, you guys keep thinking that there was something between me and him where you were wrong. You, I liked the dude. You get there in the morning. He opens the door. He's standing there. What? What? What, what do you see? When you get there in the morning. When I got there in the morning, the door was open. What do you see? Him standing there. No. Him nowhere in the building. When I got there. Uh, to go back to my phone. He was nowhere to be seen. The door was open. You told someone you took care of him. In what context? You tell me. And to who? You're the one that I was with him. That has nothing to do with That's probably work more than anything else. Did your wife help? It was good. Did your wife have a hand in it at all? I mean, she's no. the mother of these children. She's going to have to face no. this at some point. She's in there talking, telling her whole side of this thing. She had I'm nothing to do with anything. Neither did I, not with hurting him at all. Okay, but that's. All I was trying to do is deal with You took the car, you took the car, yes or no? Yes. You were in the car, yes or no? I know I took the car because it was my own way to get out of there. Yeah. Um, I need to get out of there because it's just too much money. Okay, you money. took the car. You got rid of the car, we'll put it that way. Fair enough? One way or the other, you got rid of the car. You didn't want it to be at your house, right? Okay. You took his phone. You didn't realize what you were doing. You took his credit card number and you cloned it. Well, he gave me his credit card number. I understand. But she did all these, quote, crimes, right? Let's just call them crimes for the time being. I don't know if they were or not. But you did all these things at the exact time frame this man's killed. And freaked me the hell out. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what do you think we're left with thinking? I mean, I you can put yourself in our position very easily here. I know. So what are our alternatives? Do you have an alternative besides you and your wife kill this older gentleman? Landscapers? I don't know. What's their motive? They didn't right. steal shit. Right. The same thing mine was. We talked to his landscape company. They were out there Monday. Yeah, they were out there the day that body was found. They found him. Yeah, after, at the, well, the news says at the end of the day. It all, all of right. this comes back. They told him in the house, but I didn't see anyone in the house, anywhere. I, it all comes back to was this something that was pre planned or just a huge fucking blow up that happens? It's like, you know, what do they call it? A crime of passion or whatever. One of the likely scenarios is, oh fuck, he caught you taking shit and you panicked. No, you didn't and ended up feeling anything. That's what we have to figure out because the courts makes a big difference. If it yeah. planned on Monday and orchestrated, premeditated. Or was this something that happened with Jow? I yeah. That makes yeah, a big, I mean, a big never, difference. What direction this goes? I have never laid a hand on that man in any violent way at all. But we were, we. I was one that witness. That you were present. Well, once you were there, look, I can't be any simpler. You were present at the time he was murdered on his property, so you were either the person responsible, which I have in some degree, some degree. 
with Jack Knight. Or you saw this happen and freaked out and felt compelled to help because they thought they were going to blame you anyways. No. I didn't see anybody kill anybody. What did you see? <laughs> Nothing. I heard the landscapers in the back. I, I went into the front. I heard one cop home coming to use the bathroom. Look, we've had cases before where a fucking guy at his own house drops dead of a heart attack or falls down the steps, bashes his head, and dies. And then the next doofus that comes over sees him dead and then decides, oh, still his shit. We've had that happen more than once. That's almost a common thing that we have to think about, at least in a case like this. I just figured it would. So if you wait, depending on the landscapers, front door is wide open, he's nowhere around, I can get in there. I'll, I'm just gonna be able to snag up a bunch of that fucking shit. Right, and that's why we're saying you don't do that unless you know he's freaking uh, out of the way. Like I said, I walked up to the front door, it was wide open. Mm -hmm. That was weird, first off. I knocked, I was, what, I'm confused. What day are you talking about? Uh, Thursday. Thursday, the 20th. What time did you show up? You said you took a ride out there? A dude drops you off down the street? Yeah. Uh, you jog up there? I see. I, I left there with my wife about 11 o'clock, 11.30, we went home. This is Thursday, right? This is the day that you said... This is the day I left with that cell phone. This is the day you said you were in court from 8 a.m. You had to dick around and go back at 3, 1.30, and you stayed until all the way till 5 p.m. So are you saying you went, is that wrong? Mm -hmm. No. Or is, did you go back to, to his house after court, early in the morning? Or after, after court. After, after court, man, we were there recovering his body. No. I was there, let's see. No, it was before court. Because I got, that's right around at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning to go there. Okay, because you said you were still at 8 o'clock, right? 8.30? Yes, and I had just no time to get there and get back. Get to his house. Yes. And get back. Yes. There ain't no fucking landscapers working at four in the morning, right? No, but I got there. So you got there and what happened? When I got there, it was uh, about 6, 6.30. Daylight yet or not? Yes. Okay. The beginning to. Yes. That's when I heard the, uh, that's when I heard the machine fire up. How long have you been there? Uh, half hour, maybe a minute. Uh, enough time to put all the silver coins in a box in one bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got all the big ones out. I've got separated out and everything else. So all that shit on the bed is your organization? No. Most of it is. But that box full of coins. Yes. The box full of coins was on me. Uh, I put all the lower silver on one side and everything else. And I heard that machine fire up and I freaked out. As you're inside the house? Yes. Okay. Steve's nowhere around. I don't see. He hasn't been. Okay. Um, I shit, shit. I hide for a bit. Just um, when I'm in one room is when someone came inside. I I heard him in the bathroom. Then I know he was digging around somewhere. I probably am dining room or something because. One time he left the bathroom, two time he had still he went out. You heard the two of the guys talking again. It was mm -hmm. a long time. I looked down on my watch and it was like uh oh yeah, I'm watch my phone, I was on my phone. It was like it pushing close to uh like six thirty, quarter to seven. And I was like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, to the court being the court was at 8 30. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm gonna be late for court. I'm gonna fuck up this court. I'm gonna fuck more. I'm gonna fuck up. How the fuck am I gonna get out here? And that's when I went and grabbed the scar mm -hmm. to get to court. So you're saying landscape guys were there? Yes, they were. Because the machine was fired up uh, when I hit that garage door. That, uh, that stump grinder was moving. I promised the court. In Steve's car? Yes. You took it all over the court? I took it all over the first time court. How were you thinking to explain that? 
just need to give her a rest. Honestly, I didn't care. I didn't want to score. I was told. I was told him that you've been using drugs that night before. I uh, know. Seems like there's a lot of decision making there. If you thought that I you would stop. all I saw was me being late for court, and I, I do whatever it takes to do that. Um, so if he's still alive, wandering around, he's gonna report his profession. And it would have been dead time. My whole life, you know, was just to grab. Well, I didn't even have enough time to fucking go back and get this over. I figured I'd get that later on or something like that. Speaking of silver, what other forms of silver did he have in the house? Uh, silver coins. Anything else? No. Nothing I saw. What traditional family stuff? Yeah, you know, some families have, they pass it down generation to generation. Plates or cups or shit like that. Oh, um, that he has had shit playing all over his living room. What kind of stuff? Um, little like plates, bucket plates, and things like that. Yeah. Um, well, silver. I mean, silver specifically. Oh, there's no worries that, but that's not real. Was it treated like it was real, like displayed, or what was it? Uh, it was literally just set out on a footstool. Well, why? Do you know why? Did he take it out? Did you see him take it out? No, uh, there's a box that I saw when he walked uh, in the middle there. No, there's two boxes. In the box. No, there was two boxes. That were just like set out on the foot, on like a coffee table type thing. Did you look at it or touch it? Uh, Did you want to tell you about it or what? No. I just probably that right off the top. Uh, the one I looked at. Uh, with your eyes or with your hands? With my hands. Okay. I mean, you can look right at it and take the silverware and it wasn't. The silverware that was supposed to be on it. Not worth it. Not worth taking kind of thing? Not worth it. Okay. Did your wife look at it? Mm -hmm. I don't know, honestly. Did she touch the boxes? I don't know. It, I mean, when her and she were going on, being, when she was showing everything around and things like that, I just kind of just, for first little bit, I was sitting there over there in the dining room area. That's where we were sitting there talking. Mm -hmm. Um, then I went and sat down by you know, living for a bit. Then the electric chair. And those two were just gabbing away. Why do I ever have to find that fucking out? Why do you ever have to call me? Is it true that he called you a cold call? You didn't know him before nobody introduced you? No. I didn't know him at but I've had most of my jobs come that way. I don't know them. Maybe you just said, hey, I know this number, and do you do roofs, or hey, do you uh, do you gutters, do you do this, do you do that? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes I do. I don't know who you get stolen from. You get, I need a lawyer for my fucking little kids. For your kids? Well, to fight for my kids. Yeah. Heard the power got turned off at the house. Is that that troll troll van built there too? No, I, we just forgot. I forgot. I didn't know. I just didn't realize what day it was. <clears throat> uh, under a lot of stress, think, but hmm. it's busy. Have you been able to do laundry or anything? Yeah. How? Huh? How? Was in the basket in the bathroom, and then, well, and then when the baskets are full, they're in just laundry. Oh, uh, is the power? No, I'm sorry. I thought oh, the said. power's going off for well, it got shut off on Friday. Okay. Um, and because it was a Friday, we had to wait till Monday to have the power back on. Is it back on now? Oh, yeah, we were turning that back on Monday. Um, a couple of housekeeping things here. Obviously, they're doing the search warrant at your house, they don't want to break into the safe. Um, pound one four eight eight pound. Okay. Pound one one four. No, one four. One four eight eight pound. Eight eight pound. One four eight eight pound. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, they got that. Um, okay. So the safe sign on this warrant is going to have to do another warrant and force it open or whatever the case may be. Would you be willing to sign a form to see give us permission to go mm -hmm. with it? Would that be quicker? The warrant covers the Uh, the cameras you have along on the house, are those operational or just fake? Must be fake. Do you have any activity you are this on? Uh, on? Yeah. It's been recording. Uh, sounds like it was must have been off when you had power out, right? Yeah. Power was out, what, just a couple days this weekend, this past weekend? No, that was like a week ago. Uh, is the DVR still recording video? No. Is there a passcode to the video machine? You know, sometimes you got to put a, a password in. No, I just bought it. Is it set up? That's what I was doing. Is. Okay. Is it plugged in? I mean, is it going to get power? Uh, I don't think it is. I think it, um, it might be. If, yeah, I don't, I literally have been. That's what I was doing. So do you have a do you have all set up with a monitor somewhere? Well, the monitor is temporarily set up in the closet uh, by the bathroom. Yeah. But um, were you able to see the camera space when it was recording on it? No, I had not that one for yet. Okay. So as far as you know, there's no new password. It's the what like the default password if there's one at all. I believe so. Yeah. For the safe? Yeah. Oh, okay. um, Just make sure you add that he's here and can't uh, give, you know. Oh, yeah. The warrants for the property. The warrants yeah. for the property. That's what Kevin here is. That's the property. Okay, so we'll kind of round it back to the same stuff. A couple things. Obviously, you got your. Uh, hand, your hair is on your arms burned, at least on that one. Did that occur when the car was burned? No. I literally had a... We had a really good video of the car getting burned. Oh, boy. I literally had was running the torch on a leap on it. Uh, I think some weeks on it last night. Did you burn it all with the car? So when you went back for something, that's when it really took Little hair singe, so. though. What were you wearing? What am I wearing right now? Yeah. When you burned the car. Well, let's be real. Really, I don't want to. The last thing I'm here to do is fucking do two things. Number one, put words in your mouth. Number two, get a court false confession. I'm going to do this. That's what we're here for. We know what happened. We know what you did. Now I, you know, we have little bits we gotta fill in. I was done. He's phone from a man, and I ended up dead. But I did not kill him. Okay, panic. I can understand the panic based on that, and I can understand uh, getting rid of the car in a dramatic fashion. That's that's understandable. Well, either you, either uh, either you the dude on the video, or you're, it's you pay the guy to do it, or got a little friend that helped you out. Sometimes I'm like, I don't really give a shit. It's not something really traumatic happens. Sometimes your memory's going to be fuzzy for a while. What was that gentleman across the street? Remember his name? In the property right across the road? Yeah, the way, where the, the one where those guys stopped? Yeah. Oh, um, Justin. Yeah. You got a buddy named Justin? McConnell? Let's do this. Do you have a little bathroom or anything? Yeah. So do I. Would you like some water? Let me go find the bathroom. So I'll uh, take your this car that you take the job. No. Oh, it was a couch. Yeah. Mine too. Yeah.
Where's your expedition? Night time. Oh. Where did you get the deed that we talked about earlier? John Palmer? Just whatever deed we got that day on Thursday. Oh, uh, no. Deed to it. No, I'm just looking at how we transfer it, like the boat and things. We know you ordered it with the deed of sale. It's yeah. going to be something that we done for a while. No, I got it. Ordered it online. Yeah, it was online. It was online. What, which one? What did you get? What did you end up with? I don't even know. It's just some. It's some weird. Uh, but it wasn't for a boat. It wasn't for a boat. Yeah. It was for the property. Yeah. For his property. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta be real to you transfer property. Yeah, that takes months and months and years. That's really, yeah. No, um, I don't think so. Because I know I would sign over a uh, thing to transfer over uh, the East Vessel, the Vessel Dealer Vessel title. You know, if Steve had any family? Uh, yeah, he did. Did he say who? No. Sister, two brothers. This restroom right here is just some water, too. He left. Who do you think we should be talking to, who else? Sure, it shouldn't be me. With a landscaper short pair six in the morning. Someone was. And someone's playing with that stone grinder. And there's two people out there. When I showed up to him, get my phone at 6, 6 30 in the morning. There was somebody at that part of property. Do you think maybe the people that found the body in the house? Huh? Do you think they're the ones that found the body in the house? Well, that's what the news said. Well, the news didn't say that the people you heard were the ones that found the body. No, they said the landscapers. Or the people doing work on the property. No, the landscapers. 
but somebody had that. I'm going to go ahead. Just bring it around. Do you want to say it again, Lauren, or Lorraine? Lorraine. Lorraine, yeah. She's in her pretty office. She started out telling us what you told her to tell us. But then her story changed. So it's just a matter of why. Pretty much pretty clean. Her story should change a lot, but she didn't say anything. Any around nothing, she didn't piece together. Well, she didn't know if it was older, but she didn't know if it was silver. She just didn't know anything. Yeah. 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 Told her that it had to do with her. It was a beer before I caught up, fucking what had happened to her. You know, like the story of her. Mm -hmm. I think those are also finding things at your house that kind of back up what we think. You know, back up what you're telling. No, of this property. Notes. How to transfer property. Doesn't talk about a boat. Yeah, it was a packet that you printed today and you ordered print out. You don't really We're finding, finding all that stuff. Make it tough. The story keeps changing, so it's kind of our story here. You're wrong about this. You guys have done research on me. You know my criminal history. There's nothing. There's no violence out there. There's no aggression out there. That's why the why is such a thing. That's good. That's why, that's why the why is such a thing. It's kind of an angry thing. Because it doesn't fit your normal history. I need to do it. I really did. You know, we do I things. Mean, I didn't. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to pour this by accident. I didn't force him to do anything. I just literally didn't tell him to do anything at all. And I was doing it as a feel from it. Yes. You guys better work it. I thought it was a way that I could do a bunch of shit while pinning it on them. But you know what they 
anything for you. You know what I'm saying? But here we go. See, he's been knocked on the door. See, Jerry. Hey, I forgot my phone here last night. Dave. Dave. Did you know what? Nothing. You didn't answer. What was it? I went on a you know, I went on a It rained. I mean everybody on a ringtone. How the ringtone? Yeah. Oh. Where was it? It was in the second bedroom where I hiked at the uh Phil Marsh. What? That's when I uh yes, come inside. Kid had crouched in uh, front of the dresser that's behind the door. You know, and I just sat there. I've seen that forever. There's a lot of things around the property you touched, obviously, that do an estimate. No, it's understandable. But there's a few things that you wouldn't have touched. It's really bad. So when DNA and prints come back, what's your what do you want it? You will know that within a couple few days. And you can find that my DNA and prints won't be on those if there's no way I wouldn't have touched it. There's a lot of things, and it's even if we try sure we don't leave anything and there's that much going on and I accidentally go to all the time with crime scenes stuff gets touched and if you want something that only they could touch no one else then my fingerprints will be anywhere in there over here fingerprints DNA nope nope okay so I mean like I said we're, we're gonna know in a couple days and that's fine and I was gonna show you that I did not touch that man and that would have pointed that it won't what we're sitting here in a couple days if and asking you why your DNA is on the thing that only the person that last saw you that has the DNA on There's it. no that that ain't possible conversation for me. Because no one on my DNA is nowhere near him. I I don't even see where they had him in the house. Why not? Because I was in the house and I didn't see him in the news that they found um workers found body in the house. I see him, he was in the back bedroom. I was going there to go in. When I got back there. So, I mean, the, but I don't even know where they're at anything right now. Well, Where did you last see him was in the house? When I last saw him, he walked me and my wife to the door. So I said, you know, you are safe. And I don't, don't worry, thanks, don't worry. You'll love it when we're done. We have talked about it before.
Did you know Steve's mom, Steve? Where's Dan Steve? You have no way of knowing. I don't even know his brother's names. I think he said two of them was Brenda. Nancy Grace says they're a good friend of his father, too. And that's what you're looking for. Did he, did he talk about her? I mean, he has two brothers, they're both in the Marines. The person you got a ride from, where did you meet him? I think we met a picture. How'd you get there? Like five away from my house. Three blocks away? Well, five blocks. I'm on the corner of 38th and um, Sherry didn't have a corner of 38th and Sherry. Okay. She was south a little bit. South and they're on the corner, yeah. Give you a ride home from set the car on fire. Hmm? We're gonna give you a ride home from set the car on fire. Yeah, I don't remember. Is she the one who's going back from Steve's we go back to the car, Steve. Do you want to drive it back? Hmm? She didn't drive it from Steve's house? No, why would she? Me and her left Steve, so we met. I mean, that's why it's boring. It's boring. We don't know how to gather. So you drove the car and she followed you? Mm -hmm. So did you drive Steve's car? And she followed you? When? In the morning? When? Thursday morning. No. It's in the morning. I don't know. I don't know what time it was. And I know when I left my house, it was still cold. But she didn't know that. She knew it. She knew it by the time I got home. She didn't pay attention to what was going on. Yeah, if there would have been work on the side of the car. 